Hello everybody, welcome to another Weathering Waves video. Today, what we are going to be doing is something special. We are going to be putting every character's ultimate animation into a tier list. This is going to be very exciting. This is going to be very fun. Um, first of all, first of all, I want to thank Lal Shinya for uploading this video. It is a legit, no commentary, name above every character, just basically just an, a look around of every character in the game. And then it just shows their ultimate animation. It's really cool. So I'm going to do a tier list off of the animations. Um, but yeah, this is, I, I'm assuming it's all footage that Lal Shinya uh, recorded when he had closed beta access. I, I, at least I would assume. Um, but yeah, uh, he, he literally basically stated in the first few seconds of this video, um, he's going to be streaming all day for weathering way. Uh, he's going to be streaming weathering waves all day. The day it comes out. I am absolutely going to be doing that too on this channel. Y'all should like and subscribe. I'm going to like this video because thank you so much, Lal Shinya. You are, you are a goat. And he literally said that he posted this video to help other content creators. Um, because, and that's why he put no commentary, just straight up all of this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be watching every single ultimate uh, animation. We're going to be ranking them in a tier list. Now, I think the best way to probably start going about this is I'm going to close all my other tabs. Um, and then I'm just going to, all right, I'm just going to alt tab between these two tabs and yeah, that's that, that's how we're going to do it. Oh my God. All right, let's go. Lin Yang, Lin Yang, what you got for us? Okay. Honestly, I kind of like Ling Yang. Um, he's just, just a, I mean, overall a cool looking character to be fair. Um, I'm not super big. I, I, yeah. That's a weird pause. Um, I was gonna say I'm not super big into him. Uh, a lot of people are, uh, definitely the furries are going to love this guy. Probably the most out of, you know, anybody in the game so far, is this a guy or a girl. I'm, actually not sure um but yeah I, I mean a cool character for sure but like and eh, whatever okay so overall i feel like that's kind of muted you know what i mean D does anybody understand what i mean by that i feel like there wasn't a lot of sound design there it was just kind of like like that's it goes up into the air there's like no sound until he crashes down it just sounded like kind of, I don't know, like the character didn't yell anything, you know, it, and not like the character like absolutely has to, but just more sound effects. I like the way that he lands actually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, overall, I think that this one, I'm going to put this ultimate, I've seen like the skill of the character or like the, 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 whatever the hell it is, like moves around like the Chinese dragon that he has moves around. Um, and I think that's cool, but like just the, just the animation very isolated from everything else about the character, I think is genuinely C tier. Like, I think it's really, really mid. I, th I think it's okay. Well, we're going to put it in B tier. We're going to put it in B tier. It's whatever like this. It, this is kind of like the only cool screen that we get and bro just kind of like jumps in the air and then like slams down and that's it. So, I don't know. Let's look at Calcharo next, I believe. Calcharo comes up next. Yep. Calcharo, just in general, looks so badass. I don't know if y'all watched my last video where I literally said that I was pulling for this guy. Uh, I am pulling for this guy off the standard banner. This guy is going to be the one that I go for. See, bro, that, that, okay. I don't know if this seems like I'm very biased. But I've already seen the animations of this character, so that's how I knew I was going to pull for him. So I would like y'all to know that I was biased towards really liking this character's animations before I pulled him. That's how I came to the conclusion that I'm going to pull for him. Um, but yeah, I mean, he just looks so cool. That like, that ding, that sound, it's so satisfying. But he's like, sword it like goes up to his face, he's real serious. And then it's like, the camera like follows his arm down to like his sword electronic. And like, oh my god, then he like swipes the sword across and then a big explosion around him. 
I just think it's so cool. Like, can we, from now on, just to get a very good view, all right, we're going to turn this to like max, max settings, but also just to get a really good look at them, we're mm. going to do 7.5. Like, bro, oh my God, this, this is sick. Like behind him before he is like swiped. It kind of looks like he had just has a sword out beside him. But guys, can we just admit like this is so badass right here? This is even more badass. This is insane. This is an insane frame. Unironically, hold on, snipping tool. This is the thumbnail, guys. This is the thumbnail of the video. Y'all saw that already like you know from clicking on this video but that is the thumbnail that looks crazy good um yeah i'm i'm gonna have to go with that being in uh okay now it just wants to open up my like that here um that is in my opinion i mean guys like i said I'm not biased because I liked the look of him and then he used his alt and I'm just like oh well I'm gonna like whatever he does I saw his animations before, and that's why I decided to pull for him. Because I thought it was just so awesome. Like, look at that. And then the explosion of lightning. And then that. That's like a part of it, by the way, guys. Like, how he just, like, his sword is still lightning. And then he, like, yeah, he, like, like flicks his wrist, and the lightning just turns off. Everything about him is so badass. I think, like, that honestly puts, like, this one to shame so hard. I, d I genuinely do feel bad for Ling Yang after that. That was a insane look. I already know Jian's crazy. I already know Jian. Jian's kind of goes hard. Maybe not as hard, but it, I know it already goes hard. It kind of sounds the same, right? Right? Like the start is like, it kind of has that really loud ding. Is that right? Guys, and the way that he's like glowing afterwards is so insanely badass. Because it enhances his attack and then he like the dragon comes out whenever he attacks. I know that like that's something that other characters can't you know, that, that's something other characters like it might seem unfair to judge that because like because this is an attack modifier, he's going to get that extra glowiness around him for an extended period of time after he is done casting it. But, I mean, like, it is literally what the ultimate is. I have to count it. It is a part of the ultimate. He just looks so cool. I love everything about this guy. I love his color schemes. I love the color turquoise. This is definitely a lot more mid of a screen than that Calcharo one. Um, for sure. But, like, oh my god, what's happening on my screen? Like, the dragon that flies around him. I wish maybe it did, like, one more loop around him. Like... It kind of like goes around him and then like it just looks forward if it if it went all the way around him and then looked forward and just like added a little bit more like swirl like, like the dragon swirled around him one more time and then did like the roar i think that would just go so hard but i do like how the dragon roars and then like does a big swipe attack i think that's so cool and his hair is like blowing everywhere i definitely think that one is an s tier ultimate but I do think it is genuinely below Calcharos. Let's go next. Jin Jin. This character is insanely beautiful. This is a beautiful character. Character is badass. Now, I know the animation. It's kind of eh. But like, I like the way her eyes glow. I like the way the things on the on her hair glow. Um, I don't even know what the things on her hair are, but like, I mean, they're kind of weird looking, but like, I, I like how her eyes glow a lot. And then like the four balls, that reminds me of like Zenyatta. And then she does like the little twirl. And then the yin and yang symbol. I think if this didn't exist right here, if this frame didn't exist, 100%, this would change the quality of the character. Um, but it does exist. And this yin yang symbol is insane and the fact that it just sticks around it like swirls in and then it explodes guys this this is an s tier ultimate look this is i think the yin yang honestly might actually bring it above that doesn't bring it above Xinyan. 
No, no, because I think the G. Okay, so the thing about it is, I think everything about this, like alt, would kind of make me put it in like maybe I'd move this down and then put it in like A or B tier. But if it isn't like that yin yang symbol, just goes so hard. I think like it is like the particle effects and the it's just such a beautiful ultimate. Like this is cool and all, but then like this. Now she's like controlling it with her hands where she's going like that and like controlling the balls to move them around. And then how she goes like, mm, to like explode it. Oh my God, it looks so cool. So that's definitely going to be an S tier for sure. Um, just below the other ones. I, I can't legitimately put it in, in like above Gian because Gian's is just so crazy. Like everything about it is like, I'll say he doesn't have anything extremely, extremely awesome, like, uh, like the, like the yin yang and like it exploding after she's like controlling it and it seems like she, yeah, she's like controlling it with her, with her hands. Um, but just everything about his is just generally really, really fucking cool. So I can put that up. Encore. Okay. What can you do, Encore? my god okay wow is actually that the first character to actually talk it's the first character to actually talk during the alt cast it's crazy um just for that honestly gonna move up a, a place from where i would put her um i think that the like the look the color the effects of this is really cool and how she has like the evil one um the evil puppet or whatever this is and like take up the whole screen you like see the glowing eyes and everything and it like it looks like it speaks and then like this this screen is so cute i think encore is such a cool character i think encore is sweet like like guys come on like come on i mean like cute not in, like the fucking pedophile cute I, guys it's a child this is a child i just think this is a cool character so i'm going to put encore I put that in A tier for sure. Top of A tier at this point, 100%. I think that that was really, really cool. Like, where is it? Like, that's cool. This is cool, like how it swirls around her. And then like, this is cool, how it comes up and it looks like it's talking. But then like, it's her. She has the horns. I think the horns are so badass. And then this gives me like vibes of like Annie from League of Legends. Or she kind of looks like crazy. Like the bow tie is like falling, basically a falling off where it's like off to the side. Uh, she's clearly giving a crazy look, showing teeth, doing like this, like the monster look. Like it, it's really cool. It's really cool. I actually do think that maybe genuinely. <sighs> no, I, th I think it's, I think it's, I really like Encore's all. I think Encore's Hall was really cool. And by the way, that's the first time I've seen that. That's the first time I saw her alt. Her alt is really cool. Everything I'm watching is making me realize that Lin Yang's alt is like, it's so bad. It's so genuinely like, you can like it if you like it. But honestly, like it had like one frame that was kind of cool. And that's whenever like the dragon was in view. But other than that, like, just jumps in the air and slams down like it, it is so generic so mid so whatever i do not care about it at all hold on hold on guys i i can't do it i can't do it i think encore is legit in s tier i think that that was just so good that i want to put the i i, I want to put a uh, zheng's in uh, I want to put her ultimate in A tier. I like the top of A tier, of course, but I just think Encores is so much better, and I can't keep putting characters in S tier. I think that, like, the more actual S tier ultimates I see, the more it's obvious that Jinjin's um, alt is, like, it's cool and all, but it's not S level. It's not there. All right, let's uh, see what Yinlin does. I mean, I've already seen Yinlin's ultimate before. What an amazing-looking character, by the way. Like, can I just say... Holy guacamole, like, this character looks so fucking good, like, so hot, bro. So hot. 
That's crazy. Okay, let me actually hear it without the the sus playback speed because it makes the lightning sound weird. Whoops. Not too far. It looks so good. Like the whip sound where it, like you can like hear where she's like pulling the strings. Like it's crazy. Oh my god, like it goes the, the ding that it goes for all the ultimates. And then like you hear that or not really like a cracking whip, but like you can hear her like pulling the whip. And then like you get this screen, which is okay, well this screen, yes. Insane. But I mean this one? Oh my god, god. like there is so much to love from this ultimate. There really is. And genuinely, I think we're going to have to go back and we're going to have to actually look at everything that we've put so far. Like, Calcharo's placement. All the way from Calcharo's placement, pretty much. Like, this is insane. And you hear, like, that echoey vi vibrato sound from the string that she's pulling. Um, and then you get this jump scare like monster looking thing like her little puppet thing and then you get this with like her puppet behind her oh my god like with the lightning strike in the background it is so fucking cool like it is so badass i think honestly this is the best one so far like this might actually be genuinely the best one so far and it does actually last a long time too and then like how she's always looking away from the explosion, but whenever it ends, she immediately turns back around. She's still holding the string out, like, in her hands there, you can see. It is so cool. It is so cool. So, with that being said. Like, let's just, let's just go back here. I, I think Yinlin is probably the best one. And at that point, we have to kind of take a look again at everyone else. Like, okay, so was Calcharo really that crazy good? Like, this just looks so badass. This looks so cool to me. I think, I think his looks a lot cooler than it would normally because of just how badass of a character that he looks like in general. All, these, all this lightning, you know, but it dissipates pretty fast to be fair. I did put a lot of emphasis in the fact that his sword is like lightning right now and then watch what he does. Okay, you couldn't really see it there because it was too fast. Oh, and then like he like shakes off the lightning. That's crazy cool. Um, I just don't think it is comparable to Yinlin. And honestly, I know I was really hyping it up, but I was hyping it up for a reason. I genuinely think that Encores might be the second best in the game. Especially because, okay, so I didn't even mention this before, but, so, she's a, hold on, she's alone right now, there's nobody around her, but whenever she alts, you know, and she gets like this badass screen and like the, the swirls, this, you see like the horns for the first time, and then you get this like badass um, screen, this looks so fucking cool by the way. Also, after that, I didn't put any emphasis on the fact that now her goons are out. <laughs> and, um... And, okay, never mind. They are out just for a second, but then they went away. But her horns are still out for a bit. And she's still glowing. Very, very similar to, like, what I said about Gion was so cool. And I think that just straight up, Encore is probably the second coolest in the game. Like, Yinlin is my favorite for not only Kuma reasons, but also because it's badass reasons. Uh, Encore, purely badass, just really, really cool character. Um, super awesome. And then I think that that means that I'm going to put Gian at the top of A tier with, um, Jinjin, Jin, right? Is that her name? I'm trying to also, I'm basically learning the character's names as well while we're doing this. Yeah, Jinjin. Jin. Yeah, I actually didn't mess that up. I didn't even have to look first. All right, so let's look at Yang Yang and let's see what Yang Yang can do. Because I'm actually a lot happier. Oh my god, I keep on full screening it. I'm actually a lot happier with the way the lit list looks now. I just thought Encore's alt is just way too cool. But Yinlin is still unbeatable. 
All right, Yang Yang, what you got? I don't. After this point, I haven't seen any ultimates. I'd only seen, I'd only seen Yinlins, Jians, and I saw Cal Charles like one time. Those were the ultimates I had seen before. Um, and other than that, I haven't seen any. Okay, so we get the the resonator lighting up in her head, and then she's just gonna look at the screen and pull out her her sword. Oh my god, this is an insanely badass looking attack. The particles look crazy. Oh my god, the swirl. The swirl looks really, really cool. I don't think it's as thematically badass though. Like, I think this is really, like, it's like cool still, but like compared to other ultimates, it is bland. Um, but I like how like the huge swipe and it like starts this almost like tornado type. And like you can see there's also like feathers flying around as you can see like just look at the tornado there's feathers flying around in the tornado it looks really really badass um also side boob um obviously very important but no I think this character is really really cool I think that I think this ultimate is really really badass um I am going to put this ultimate in a tier below Jenjins. Okay? I'm going to put I I'm gonna put it below Jensen. I just I think it's really cool. I don't think it's as thematically badass as the yin and yang symbol. I think the yin and yang symbol is like it's gonna be iconic to her, like hopefully no one else just randomly gets a yin yang symbol. Like it's just gonna look so cool. Like you immediately know what that character is. Like that that character's just badass. So that was pretty cool. Alright, Chixia. Chixia's cool. Is Chixia the one who is like the top three DPS in the game randomly as a four star? Is it is this her? Or is it the other one? I don't know. There's like okay, so I have a fault against weathering waves, okay? So there's like two two girls with red hair, with like short red hair, and then there's one guy with also some short red hair, and it's like honestly like these three are so confusing to me. Like their design to me, I'm sure once I start actively playing the game it'll look different, and, and like but honestly these three mostly, but sometimes these four because this is also pink hair like short pink hair. It's like the same thing four times is what I'm looking at here almost. And I feel like I'm going to get very confused until I actually learn everything or learn all the characters about like who they are. <laughs> but Chixia, she's the one with the bow in her hair. Okay, this character. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's her. It's her. Chixia is an insanely, insanely good character. By the way, this is an insanely cool frame. I really love this frame. Okay, that's badass showing off her, her tattoo, but also kind of looks like a scar because it's red. And then it starts glowing. She's looking the other way, but she has like her things crossed. That's pretty cool. And she turns around, points the gun straight at you. This makes me think of Lucian from League of Legends, by the way, with the fact that she has two guns and they light up and they shoot like light almost. Um, and then the fact that she just does all this crazy shit. I think ultimates like that are so badass. Um, Samira from League of Legends. Um, what is the name? Overwatch? Spectre? Is it Spectre from Overwatch? I haven't played that game in so long. Is it, is it Spectre? Whatever it is. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The one who goes, die, die, die. Yeah, that one. Um, that kind of ultimate, it's just so cool. Whenever you give a character two guns, you immediately need them to start spinning around in circles. There's also, also, this is an insanely badass freeze frame right here, by the way. Like, this pose is just so cool. Um, also, Vala from Heroes of the Storm. Not that anybody knows what the hell that even is. Yeah, I think this is really, really cool. And it looks very impactful because it's full-on screen shaking. It looks very badass. Um, I'm going to have to put that, I think, actually above uh, Yang Yang. I'm gonna have to put it above Yang Yang. I think that that is a really, really badass ultimate. Um, and I'm a sucker for 
characters with like two guns that spin around and do like a big AoE attack against everything. And also side note that has nothing to do with the actual quality of her ultimate. Um, I just wanted to say this. Her playstyle is so cool. Like she keeps, she, you just jump around, you kite, you shoot with your guns. She shoots fast because she has like the two guns. Very fast place, fun play style. I'm going to be playing a lot of this character. I might straight up max the sports star, like unironically. <clears throat> like it, she might be a part of a team. Like what? What is she? I'm like yeah, she's pyro. Looks like at least that, I would assume that's what like it. I don't know exactly what it's called, right? In in weathering waves, but as long as she covers a different element than like electro, which is what. Yin, Yin Lin and Calcharo are, which is like the main duo I'm going to be playing. I might play her just to get like a, a fire character up, or a character of a different type up. All right, Verena, this is the other five star that's a part of the standard banner. This is the final five star that we have left to show. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's show this. I think that she looks really, really lame though. I do not like Verena at all. I know Tectone's a big hater of her as well, but let's see her alt. I've never seen it before. Okay, that's kind of cool, but eh. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pick this apart. We're going to get every freeze frame. We will, promise. Okay, so immediately, she starts the alt. She starts the spin. Pretty cool. Um, yep, nothing really happening here. This I think is really really cool with like the flowers basically on the screen. I think that that is really awesome. And then she like, she like holds the flower up to the screen and then grabs the flower and pulls it back in, throws it up and makes like this explosion of green life and flowers and whatever. And then it like slowly rains down. Um, well, actually it was really quick. It was really quick and over with. Oh, huh. like she throws it up and then it like rains down. If it like had more of like a rain down effect, Obviously that might be a lot of screen clutter. Someone might be able to, someone might argue, but it's also just really cool VFX. Um, yeah, it, it, it's like, it's whatever guys. It's whatever. It's for sure better than freaking than Ling Yang. I'm sorry, Ying Lang enjoyers. You're going to hate me. I'm sorry. I, I'm genuinely sorry, but I'm going to put Verena in B tier. Rover. Okay, let's go with the Rover. Honestly, I would rather watch the female version of the ro the Rover. Not that there's a big difference. Okay, we'll get to the Rover female after this. Let me just see what the uh what the male does. Obviously, like it's gonna be the same thing. Okay. All right, that that was literally worse than Yang, uh than. All right, Ling Yang, finally one that's worse than you. Like, honestly, that was extremely mid. Um, that was just so whatever. It's, I don't even like, I don't even want to rewatch it. Like, there's nothing I missed there. Bro, like, grabbed, bro, like, made a fist, and then went, uh, and then, like, made some, like, shattering yellow happen on the screen. Like, bro, who cares? Uh, let's go into Jin Jin. Jin Jin, this character just doesn't look cool to me. This character does not look cool. This is, this character does not inspire anything from within me. This character is just really whatever in terms of just straight up design wise. But that is badass. Okay. Yeah, I have seen a clip of this all. I didn't even know it. Um, but this definitely reminded me the the eye thing that's happening right now where her eyes kind of get like struck by lightning or get charged with lightning and then turn bright red while like every all these red particles are happening on the screen. That is so crazy cool. All these slashes. Oh my god. An absolute a flurry of slices. That was really cool. Genuinely, that was really cool. I think that was better than Farina's. Like that was better than Farina's. For sure. I liked that a lot. Actually, I think just because I liked that. I think just because I liked that alt so much, like. Everything about it, even like the freeze frames, like the lightning going into her eyes and then them turning bright, bright red, I think is so cool. 
the actual like color of her sword being like this deep red like pretty much exactly the same color as all the red on her is really badass the anger in her face here really really showing it's really powerful stuff you can tell the emotion and then just like how it immediately flicks to like okay we're doing fast slices slice 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 and dice that was crazy and then like how she kind of lands like this and then just kind of with sass with a little bit of sass just kind of boop, pops her up and swings her leg around and swings her body around and then the sword just kind of like evaporates that is really cool guys that is really cool i am a hundred percent okay i think that's actually better than this i think that might be better than the guns i think it is I think I think that raised the bar a little bit. I think that's better than the guns. But the guns are like the guns are like what she did, but just slightly less cool, I think. I think just the sli the slices look so badass. Um like the freeze frames for both of these, like the actual animation looks so good. And then whenever they start doing the actual attack portion of it where she's slicing and she's shooting, I think the slicing looks a lot cooler than the shooting. So I'm going to put the um uh, I'm gonna put Dan Jin above uh, Chixia. So, yeah. And then I'm going to move down just a little bit Yang Yang. But at the same time, I think Yang Yang's was a pretty decent bit better than Verena's, so Verena's gonna move down to C tier. I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with this right now. Alright, so Tao Kui. What you got, Tao Kui? I don't know if I've ever seen you. Oh, you got the big old boobies. I think I've seen it one time. I think I've seen it. Get to get the huge, oh my goodness, so gracious. Oh, she's actually talks too, that's crazy. But she actually makes a sound. This is crazy, by the way. This is a crazy shot. Um, wow. That's pretty cool. I think overall, other than like the actual like first frame animation, like this is like, it looks pretty cool. This, hot course and then you know spins around and does like the slice i think that's really cool but it's just one slice i like the line like the pink line that it creates on the screen but it's just one slice there's no effect afterwards the slice or the sword pretty much instantly evaporates from her hands afterwards i think that that was extremely eh and that is solidly going here no, I, I can't, I can't, I gotta be honest. I mean, that was, that was lower than Verena. That was lower than Verena. I have to be honest about that. I gotta give Verena credit. Hers was kind of cool. Where she, like, held the flower, and then, like, she, like, you know, put it back in a fist, then she, like, threw it up in the air, and then made it rain down sparkly fairy magic dust. And, like, whenever she was holding the flower out, like, all the different flowers appeared, like, on the screen, like, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Okay, rover female. You're not going to look any different from what the rover male animation is, I would assume. Right? Yeah, okay. So just make a fist. Almost literally, like, what? you? This does not look like I'm pausing this in the middle of an ultimate, I'm just saying. Every other character, something crazy was happening here. I mean, we got some crazy side boob. But, like, and then this. I like the sound of, like, the... It sounds like slowly shattering glass. Oh, well, that's also probably because I'm at 0.75, so it's not 100%. Overall, that is just so mid. That is so... Eh. That's so... Eh. That's just whatever. Like, what the hell ever, man. I do not care about that at all. We're gonna put that here in D tier. Below... Ling Yang. You keep forgetting. All right, Yan Wu. I actually really like the look of Yan Wu. Um, so I hope he does not disappoint me here. Let me try and freeze it instantly. Badass, badass so far. That is crazy. That is so good. Uh, what is it about? Like, what is it about the insane anime trope of like the glasses glowing and like lighting up and covering their eyes? Like the insane shine off their glasses. It just makes someone look so fucking cool. 
and I like how he actually has facial hair, bro. Like I'm, I'm so used to the, in like, Oyoverse games where it's like, oh yeah, Gallagher can have like, some peach fuzz, and that's all he's allowed to have. Like, what are we saying? And like, yeah, because of that, he's gonna look like the most manly character in the game. It's like what? But this guy just straight up does have kind of like a beard going on, starting, um, or at least like a chin strap type thing. But he makes it work totally. The hat is badass. I, I mean, the character's design is just cool. Let's just focus on the ultimate though. But yeah, the glasses glowing up is so badass to me all the time. The lightning coming off of his like arm is crazy cool here this whole time. It does a big push. His glasses aren't glowing anymore. You actually see his eyes. You can like see anger in his eyes. Like I know it's just like an animation, obviously, but like it looks so cool. This frame looked looks so badass. And then how his like hand is glowing with how hard this punch is about to be. And then he punches. Oh my god, he's created like a black hole off his punch. Oh my god, he shoots out. There's lightning on the ground. This guy's an S tier. Guys, I'm telling you, that was an S tier ultimate. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Better than Calcharos. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Y'all can't call me a little Calcharo fanboy anymore. Like, that was crazy good. This random four star who I've never seen the ultimate of before, who I just simply kind of like the look of, is so badass. Bro, like, that looks crazy. That looks crazy. He, like, holds his fist out and then boom! It's like he's shooting a cannon from his arm, like, in, like, Iron Man. So badass. All right, Sanhua, what you got? You look pretty cool. Let's see. Okay, kind of basic, but it's okay. Okay, we got some, like, stuff going on in the background. And the, the katana, the sword is by her face. Ooh, that's Acheron vibes right there. The red eyes glowing. That was pretty cool. That is really badass. Uh, bro, you check your armpit. You've got a, you've got a uh, soap like there, bro. Oh my, what? Creates a slash with the ice spikes. The ice spikes on the ground and they just stay there. Oh my god, she creates like an impassable terrain and then they go away but it's still on the ground for a little bit. That is so cool. What the hell? That was so cool. Alright, yeah, that was unbelievably badass. I think probably at this level, like, I don't think it was... It, it was very, very fast, like, you know, whenever she, like, holds the sword beside her, this is pretty eh. And then she does that. And then she like does the slice. Oh my god, wait. That is crazy. That is so cool. That is so cool. I think actually above the guns. Let me look at the slices again. Like, let me look at actually both of these real quick. Okay, no, just how impactful that looks with like the gun, with like the screen shake and the guns firing. I think that that one's a little bit better. I do like the, how the ice spikes are there and they like stay on the ground for a little bit though. That was really cool. And let's look at Dan Jin and actually compare them directly with what I just watched. Okay, actually, that doesn't look as impactful. I thought that this was above uh, Chixia, but that's maybe because it. It had been a while, it had been a few characters since I watched Hixia. And I kind of just lost, like, the amount of power that looks is behind those shots. It's like literally shaking your entire screen. She's like, hoarding around, like, in a space and like, shooting in like, different directions. It looks so cool. I think it's actually so much better. I changed my mind. We're going back in time. We're changing our minds here. We're mind changers. Alright, Morteffi. What you got? You look like a pretty cool character. So don't disappoint. Okay. I mean, it's okay. Those aren't glowing. His glasses didn't light up. You know, you don't need that, right? It's like, it's okay. I like what the thing like circling around him right now. I like the look of his hand, obviously. 
Everything else is kind of whatever, though. Everything else is kind of him existing. Oh, that... Oh my god, that Drake that's, like, circling around him and over him right there. And how his hand is, like, his bright red for a little bit. That looks really, really cool. I think that that is, however, below these two. <clears throat> no. Above her. But below Verena. B below Verena. Yeah. Is that her name? Verena? Why is... Okay, yeah. Yeah, Verena. And above the pink-haired girl. How could we? I think that that's fair. <clears throat> so we're almost done with this here. Yeah, I think that that's like cool, but it's, it's, I don't know. It's like, eh, eh, compared to a lot of others, it just feels like it's very, very short. It's very quick and not a ton going on. Oh, there has to be a ton going on, but visually, I mean, sometimes they do, right? This is like, you know, when you're trying to flex on other characters in terms of your animation, and no. Okay, Alto. I've literally never seen Alto once in my entire life. I did not even know this was a character. I've never seen this character. I was I literally thought that this was like a, a mix up, like an NPC in the game. But let's see. Alto, what you got for me? Oh god. Oh god, here we go. We're putting on the cool guy sunglasses. Okay, the after effect of that is so fucking cool. Like what's in front of him. The the gun blast looked like it was very impactful. And it was pretty chadly. Just put on sunglasses and blast. But in terms of like actual like looks, I'd say that was above her who just kinda like went, oh and then like did a slice. It's definitely above her for sure. But it's not above the one that we just went over, and it's not above Verena. It's not above Alto. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. Alright, last one. Last one, by Z. <sighs> Alright, come on. Come on. Why is it for this one it's specifically like doing other things? This one is very, very annoying to watch. What the hell? It's very blurry, guys. Like it this is max quality. 4K. This is extremely blurry. It looks like I honestly can't even make a decision on it, but if I could, okay, that's really cool. That's really cool. <clears throat> well, you can definitely tell what's happening there. That brings it up a lot. The, I, I literally can't even tell what the hell is happening here, to be honest with you. But yeah, she summons a thingy and then it like circles around her and then she can like basically make it into a tornado that just goes around and rapidly hits things, I would assume. Um, I think that is pretty cool. That is probably above her and above him. And probably above him. To be honest, above Verena. It's probably C tier. But, yeah, it's just like, I can't really even see what's happening in the still frames. But other than that, I think I'm very happy with this tier list. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe. Head over to Lalshinya's page as well. Lalshinya's account and also subscribe to that guy. Thank you so much Lalshinya for posting this video. It was very very helpful. I literally would not have been able to make this piece of content without you. Well I could have but I've had to look it up from someone else who doesn't have them all just in a row very very nicely like this um, with the names above the characters like because I definitely need it. Um, yeah so thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section.